All right, welcome back to the channel. Firefighter Golf, Captain Steve Pope here with the Kansas City, Kansas City, Kansas Fire Department. Here at Falcon Lakes, my home course. I haven't showcased them, I don't think, this year with a full 18 hole. So there'll be two part series, uh, front nine, back nine. And I uh, just wanted to get some footage, talk about how serious uh, my mission is. And anyway, for the people just tuning into this channel, it's about bringing awareness using this social media platform and others. Hopefully a first responder or firefighter ends up seeing this and they can contact me and play some golf because I have a foundation now that pays for green fees to get first responders out on golf course to decompress. And that's what I'm doing today. I love golf, have a passion for it. I coach high school golf and uh, you know, just wanna share this with people. Let them know how serious post-traumatic stress is for first responders as well as military, as well as many other occupations. Just trying to make it uh, real because it is real hear me talking about it. So stay stuff aware. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy uh, me showcasing this golf course and my round of golf. Take care. Love you all. Got about 192 to this pan placement. Looks to be kind of in the front. Got a five iron. Yeah. Too quick. No driving range this morning because the range is closed. On Tuesdays, why they get it set back up and hand pick it. So that's my excuse for that poor five iron. So hopefully it's findable up on this hill, but it's gonna be a tough little uh, approach here, even if it's only 30 yards out. Alrighty, there's my ball up there on that slope. And this is what I got coming back. <laughs> I came like, up and out of that. Oh, I knew like it was my putt. Well, oh, yeah, but you're you <laughs> putting aggressive with that putt. I can't. You saw how far Brian's went by. Yeah. Bad stroke there, but I couldn't be aggressive with that putt, or it goes a good three or four feet by. So, anyway, on to hole two. All right, if anybody's wondering what ball I'm playing today, it's the Vice 3, Vice Pro Plus. So it's got pretty good spin to it. Uh, I compare it to Pro V1. So it's a pretty good ball, if anybody's wondering. Uh, might be just barely in the gunch. All right, there's my ball. Got a good angle of this pin, but I don't think I can advance it that far out of this lie. All right, I got about 100 yards. And it's downwind, so got a 50 degree. All right, I'm pleased with that. There, my ball's back there. You see the pin there. And this pin is sitting right on the, the false area where it falls off a ledge. So it's going to be tough to get this close. Let's see what I can do. Oh, nice. 
Alright, right, that's a punchy kind of 54 degrees and let it run out. I got you. So see if I can make this putt for par. I haven't really hit a good shot off the tee or approach today. Like I said, you get me squared away? Yeah. Raleigh Fingers has got me. But that's golf. Uh, no driving range today to kind of get a feel, even though sometimes I don't go to the driving range. Uh, but I was feeling like I wanted to today. Anyway, just come out here and play the game. Hopefully a short game stays like it is and I can uh, get the rest of the game going. All right, some left to right to this putt. Comes off the shoulder of this bunker. It's going to feed a little right. So I got to be mindful of that because I usually don't borrow enough on these putts. Not going to lie, when that one came off the putter face, I thought it was, I hit it too hard. But that was kind of a double breaker. So. I'm excited to see what that looked like on uh, when I edit this video. So anyway, on to hole four. Craig, get your hybrid out, I hit mine. <laughs> All right. All right, just wanted to touch on how, when I coach my high school teams, we try to focus on the short game and it's boring for them, but it's the most important part of the game in my opinion. Now obviously if you hit errant tee balls off the tee, that's, that's a different <laughs> subject to it cover all together but short game even when you're doing that can save you a couple strokes uh, like back there making that birdie putt and then getting up and down uh, on number two so just using those as an example um, even as you saw my shot on hole one from up there on the hill you know I put that and gave myself a good chance for birdie even though I made a bad putt at that birdie attempt just wanted to you know say that how important I think the short game is it can make up for a lot of uh, bad shots in the first two holes I wasn't hitting the ball good but now I'm starting to loosen up from no driving range and so anyway all right hope you're enjoying all right 158 I'm down hill downwind so I'm gonna hit the nine iron choke down on it try to get to the front of the screen let's see if the wind and the slope might carry this ball to the pin, maybe. It got back to the pin a little bit. I think middle of the green. Ah, it went that way. See what I mean on how important the short game is? <laughs> that was a makeable birdie putt that I didn't make. And hole three, a putt that's really not considered makeable as far as percentage wise, I made it. So that's golf, I love it. That's why I come out here and uh, try to get better each and every day, even if you don't. You learn something from mistakes, so all right.
his driver. Uh, whoa, whoa! All right, there's my ball. It almost made it back to the fairway off the slope here. We're moving about 250 out to this green. And they have bunkers in front of the green now on that flyover. Those aren't in there. So they did the Billy Bunker renovations and added some bunkers to this course. So it's, it's looking really good out here. All right, I got the 19 degree hybrid. I'm gonna lay up. A good miss, folks. Might be in those bunkers though. I don't wanna lay up there. Okay, good. Brian said to the right. All right, there's where that 19 degree hybrid ended up. To that pin placement there. So I'm gonna have to be right of it so I can put uphill. Come back to the right. Shot. Shot. I ever want to grab all right got about 148 to this pin in that little neck of the green there all right got about 142 to this pin I'm gonna choke down this nine a little bit not a bad lie here There's we're mining it up. Little flyer out of that rub with the choke down. Let's see if I can make this longer putt. Hey, you never know. Look at that mud helping it. Oh, <laughs> the line. There's the mud on the ball. Right there, these two? Man club. Got about 100 yards to this front pin placement there. Just left of that bunker. All right, about a 98 yards. Got the 54 degrees here. A little bit into the wind. be on the fringe there's where the approach shot ended up not a bad look at it uh, I first hit it I think I hit it hard enough About 166 middle, and that's kind of where the pin's at today. That's what we got. A little into the wind. There you go. 
Oh, thin to lose, boys and girls. Where was that oh. at last week oh. during the par three challenge? All right. Okay, there's the mothball. And that's what I got. Need to throw that up higher. Yeah. Still not too bad, I guess. Oh, you had it. Yeah, any more pace, though. It's, yep. it's past the hole. And I, you just needed a hair more pace. I got about 127 to that back pin there. Good putt. All right, thanks for watching part one. Here at Falcon Lakes Golf Club, my home course here in Kansas City. So if you're ever in the Kansas City area, please look them up. It's a wonderful golf course. They got the Billy Bunkers now. Uh, if you're not sure what that is, go look it up on, on YouTube. I'm sure someone has it out there. Even par on the front. So I was happy with that. And uh, this channel. Nerd. Nerd right here driving by me. So. This channel is about bringing awareness to PTS for first responders, firefighter brothers and sisters especially, because I understand more what they go through. But uh, it's all real and relevant along the, along the line. Stress is real. Didn't think it was for the longest time in my profession. Ah, that's, that's not, but guess what? It came up and bit me. So uh, I just want to share my story. I know I'm not sharing it much here, but you can go back and watch the other videos and I share my story and, uh, and how real it is trying to stop suicide by first responders. So anyway, love you all. Stay self-aware, please. You can overcome it. You just have to want to. You have to understand what's taking you over. So please seek help. Love you all.